Welcome on YouTube. This is Dr. Herbert Harris, and this is Motivation Monday. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us. As you know, our readings and our topics are taken from our book, The 12 Universal Laws of Success. And today, our topic is positive self-image. And let's open today with a, an affirmation from our 12 affirmation poster. Let's see. <laughs> Here we go. The 12 affirmations to live by poster. Affirmation number one is, I have a positive self-image. Hey, Shade, how are you? Janet, how are you? Jeanette, how are you? I have a positive self-image. And when I started thinking about the topic for today, Motivation Monday, everything starts with your self-image, how you see yourself. And so I really thought, I said, let me just read a little passage from, uh, from the 12 Universal Laws of Success, chapter, page 39, chapter one, the law of thought. And the reason it's important is because the law of thought says, whatsoever a mind thinks in its heart, in other words, the thought and the feeling aspect of the thought, so are you. The most profound thought that you can have is your thoughts about yourself. Hey, Janelle, Dr. J, thanks for joining us. The thoughts you have about yourself are profound because how you see yourself, how you think about yourself determines what you get out of life. So I'm going to read a little bit from page 39. Self-image, how you see yourself in your own eyes determines what you get out of life. Self-image is your own conception of yourself. It is the mental and emotional picture you hold in your own consciousness of who you are, what you're about, and what you represent. That's a powerful statement, folks. It's almost your declaration to the world of who you are. And you see, the world always responds on you based on what you project to it. And what you project to the world is congruent with your self-image. However you see yourself, that is what you project to the world. Your self-image is important because it is the starting point of your life experiences. The image you hold of yourself is like a great vase into which all your life experiences are poured and blended. So if right now, if you're not happy with where you are, if you're not happy with the results you're getting in your life, if you're not happy with the people being attracted to you, if you're not happy with your level of finances, your self-image is a key. You see, how you see yourself creates a vibration of oneness, a vibration of declaration, a vibration of who you are. So if you see yourself as a positive person, that's your self-image. It's almost as though when you walk down the street smiling, people smile back at you. If your self-image is a small, limited conception of yourself, based on ignorance, fear, doubt, and insecurity, then all of your experiences of life will be filtered through those same negative emotions. And so your self-image is like a pair of sunglasses. You know, when you go out in, on a sunny day, if you the sun is bright and you put on your shades, or even better, I used to have a pair of those glasses that would gradually, you know, when you go into sunlight, they automatically became sunglasses. And the challenge was, I didn't always want that to happen. So every time I wanted to take pictures outside, I had to take my glasses off because there was no way I could keep it from getting dark. Our self-image is like that. The self-image we present to the world gives a filter through which we see everything. So just as I saw everything through those sunglasses, number one, but also 
the world saw me through dark glasses. And, you know, when you when you have a person with dark glasses on, it may signify a certain kind of thing to other people. Your self-image is like the glasses that you filter the light through. On the other hand, now, if your self-image is based on knowledge, love, courage, respect, faith, and confidence, your life experiences will be filtered through those same positive emotions. Self-image determines your capacity to give, receive, and interact with the life experiences and possibilities that confront you. We often say you always bring yourself to the party and that self that you bring to the party is your self image, how you see yourself. And we always, we often tell the story that two people can come to the same party. One person says it's a great party. The people are gracious. They are, everybody's happy. The music is fine. Another person standing right next to that first person will say, it's a terrible party. The people are stuck up. The music is old and out of fashion. What's the difference? The difference is their self-image. So I challenge each and every one of you. Use the affirmations. We started with an affirmation. I have a positive self-image. Use the affirmations to reprogram your self-image so that you feel it, so that you believe it. I have a positive self-image. I am a loving person. I am a beautiful person. I am a smart person. I am a compassionate person. To reprogram yourself so that your self-image is conducive to attracting the, the good things to you. Your self-image determines your capacity to give and interact with the life experiences and possibilities that confront you. Your self-image is like a magnet, attracting or repelling like or unlike qualities into your life experience. Wow. Hey folks, that's our reading for today. That's our motivational message for today. Your self-image is your projection of who you are onto the world. Your self-image must be powerful. Let me give the attributes as we wrap up. Your self-image must be positive, based on love, courage, respect, faith, and confidence. When you exude confidence in your self-image, when you see yourself as loving, when you see yourself as brave, when you see yourself as respectful, when you see yourself as a believer, when you see yourself with the confidence necessary to be what you want to be, do what you want to do, and have whatever you want to have, nothing is impossible. <laughs> Thanks so much, folks. I wanted to share this message with you today on Motivation Monday because as we start this week, see yourself exactly the way you want to be to attract all that you desire, to be what you want to be, to do what you want to do, to have whatever you want to have, always knowing that the best is yet to come. Once again, our readings are based on our book, The 12 Universal Laws of Success. Once we post this, please share your comments, share how your self-image has transformed your life to make it exactly the way you want it to be. Always knowing that the best is yet to come. And so it is. Come on, everybody. Come on, everyone. The time the love is here. Let these trouble days be done. I tell you, come on, everybody. Come on, everyone. The time the love is here. Let these trouble days be done.